Hey guys, today I will be opening, I don't know how many packs, I will just show you what I purchased. I really did want to do gameplay videos with you, so I looked at Magic Online, I did try to record some Magic Online, but as per usual, it crashed, so I chose the most popular option. Honestly, it is very difficult to get enough coins and in this game to play this game efficiently so you do have to kind of spend money uh, it turned out to be a little bit more you do have to pay tax on it it looks like but uh, we can go ahead and buy 20 packs it looks like we can get 20 packs and maybe more so we'll confirm our purchase 20 booster packs we're going to open maybe we should uh let's open one by one and go over the card Opening one booster pack, we got, oh, we got a Mythic card. We got, uh, let's see, Fiery Impulse is pretty interesting. Dragon Fodder, yeah, that kind, I kind of need that one. And let's look at our Mythic. We got, I believe this is our first Mythic. And we did open quite a bit of packs. Woodland Beller, four double green. Whenever it enters the battlefield, you may search a library for a non-legendary creature card with Convert Manor. So it's pretty good. I mean, I might play it, but, and then this elf is very good. So pretty cool. Let's open the next booster pack. Let's hope for an angel. I believe you can only get one. Oh, okay. So we did get angel card, but we didn't really get the actual angel. So signal of the empty throne, free double white. Uh, it is an enchantment. So you, there's cards that can look for enchantments and this is probably not the worst card you can get to be honest with you so i don't know i like it it is a good card but so each booster pack comes out to be about a dollar a button press which is not bad for magic online if you compare this to magic online and okay cool let's see i have not seen this card yet it is patron of the valiant whenever it enters the battlefield put a plus one plus one creature oh on each creature so pretty good for renown i want to make the renown deck and tragic arrogance this card is seeing some play in standard right now so for each player you choose from among the permanents that player controls an artifact a creature in an enchantment and a planeswalker then each player sacrifices all other non-land creatures so not bad it might see play in my white mono white deck but let's keep going i think we're gonna open 25 packs okay so we got one of this card is interesting. Uh, obviously, Tamir Battle Strike is not in this set. So, huh. I, I like it. I mean, it's a Renella Renown creature. I might go white green. I'm not positive. But you do have to buy booster packs. I don't like how magic is pay as you pay to win. And good. We get another card that I probably am not going to use. <laughs> This card is kind of weird. Okay, let's go to the next booster pack. I'm looking for a, a Archangel. And nope, Chandra's Ignition. But I've heard that you cannot get three of the same rares or two of the same mythics. That's why I heard. So I guess we'll see if that's true because I have two Chandra's Ignitions already. This would be my second one. And we're going to buy another booster pack. And hopefully pull a Archangel. Uh, hey, you know, I guess we're green. I believe, somebody correct me in the comments if I'm incorrect. I believe you can play one Mythic. You can play one Mythic, two rares, three uncommons, and four commons. So a very weird set, to be honest. But, I mean, that's one of the cards I wanted was Nyssa. And Tutelage is not bad for uncommon for this particular game. So let's go ahead and wow, we can play elves. I mean, this is definitely a bomb for an elf card in this type of format. You can imagine this format being pseudo limited, like kind of limited, but not really. But I love this card, Guilt Leaf Wilnerler. I play against him in Sealed all the time and he's very difficult to beat. Five, he has Menace, so it cannot be blocked except by two or more creatures. Pretty big body, and when it enters the battlefield, you may destroy target non-elf creature or pow whose power and toughness aren't equal. So that pretty much takes care of a lot of cards in standard. I have not seen this card before. Doesn't seem that good. 
Let's open the next pack. So yeah, it's you have to really make different decks. Like it won't be like standard. Oh, second language. So you, yeah, second language. So maybe the elf deck is a reality, but I, this card I actually really need too. I like this card a lot. Maybe we go ahead and make the elf deck. What do you guys think? It looks like we have a lot of the elf pieces and elves is very strong in this format, I believe. Um, Here's another elf that's very good. So, okay, next booster pack. We've been doing pretty well. I mean, I think we are doing well. Oh, good. Uh, th oh, man. So this card is good. We needed one of these. I like it a lot. It is a very good card. And this card is not bad, especially when you throw the 1-1 one, one flyers. And this card is an absolute bomb and limited. I don't know how he will be in this format, though. I just had to buy booster packs. I'm probably going to just spend all my money. Oh, this is good. I like this card. Maybe we'll have enough cards to make, like, uh, multiple decks. And this card is also very good. So... Pretty much you have to spend money or else you can't beat people. <laughs> and that's what I found when I was doing the competitive. Oh, what is... Oh, we got this one. I wanted this one. This one's very good. I can make a mono white deck. This card is very good as well. And I have not seen this card before. Titan. Let's see. As long as the opponent controls no creatures, it is indestructible. That's good. Whenever a creature card leaves an opponent's graveyard... Whenever a creature card leaves an opponent's graveyard, you may discard a card. If you do, return it from your graveyard to your hand. Whenever a creature card leaves an opponent's graveyard, what does that mean? Does that think... Hmm, that's really weird. So I have to, like, remove cards from my opponent's graveyard? Huh, I've never seen that card before. But I wanted this card, so I'm kind of glad I got it because mono white, right? We actually have more than eight packs. So I'm just going to buy five more packs after this. Ugh. Okay, so we have enough of these. We don't need any more of these. I definitely believe you can only get two of the same rare. And even if uh, it tries to give you another one, it'll just have to re-scramble it for you. Well, I mean, there's Baby Jace. In real life, he's worth like 40 bucks. But in fake magic online life... How much is he worth? Uh, I do love Jace, though. He's very, very good. So we got a Jace. Maybe we make a mono blue deck. Um, and this would give you a pretty good idea of how many cards you can get. Ooh, this is our second one of these. I know that. And yeah. Next boost pack. So we actually have 10 boosters left because I'm going to buy five more. And we got another one of these. So we're not supposed to get triple of the rares. And we don't get double of the mythics. So keep that in mind when we buy packs. It's kind of a weird scenario. Yes, my second. Oh, nice. So mono white it is. I'm going to build mono white probably in another video. I That was the deck I wanted to play. Mono white and elves. And it looks like if you just buy the $24.95, you get all the cards you really need to make at least one good deck. I'm very happy with these packs. And no. What is this? Yeah, I guess it's not bad for limited. And good card. Oh, nice. That's exactly what I wanted. This is a very good card. I also picked up another one of these for mono white. Looks like I can make red, blue. No, I need that rogue guy. I need that more of those rogue guys. I think I only have one of the rogue guys. So let's hope. Uh, what is this card? I haven't seen this one before. Vigilance, uh, Knight, Renown 2. Ooh, that card's very good. All right, next booster pack, and this one will be our last one until we go ahead and buy some more. Yes, of course, it's this card. Is this, like, we have a lot of, that. maybe elves, elves? Oh, good, we have another equipment for my Relic Seeker. Oh, I, I do need another Relic Seeker, that's important. So let me buy two packs, buy, um, and then we'll buy two more. Like, to get packs in this game is, like, too... You have to spend money because there's no way you can get packs otherwise. Like, you have to beat the AI 10 times. I mean, you have to win 10 times to get one pack. And you have to beat, like, competitive opponents, which you cannot beat because they all purchase packs or, or somehow have accumulated more packs than you. So that's also not great. But let's go ahead and open this. 
Oh, not. Oh, we got this one. Yeah, we need more of these. So that's good. So I'm in the pack and next pack. So good card. Ah, survive. Oh, I like this one a lot though. But I need more copies of them. So let, let's go back to the store and keep buying, because that's what we do at MTG Line. We just buy until we don't have money left. I mean, isn't that like the best way to play Magic? And oh, we got another one of these. This is not bad. I like it. I like it. And one more. I guess we got one more pack after this one. Get in. Get in. Ah, uh, not get in. And that's actually we need more of these too. I like this card a lot. I think I like it too much. Return to the store and spend all of our money, and we are good. And I'll take. Uh, I'll make a deck with you guys. I'll play test the deck, and then we will play uh magic and i think this is oh another survival of the fittest but we don't really oh but i got another glory chaser that's good so i'm very very happy it looks like if you spend if you buy this option in the middle it's not bad it does cost you a little bit more money because there's tax but that's true for any product you buy pretty much let us see our um let's see our card collection and see what we have so remember, I did open quite a bit of booster packs before this, so keep that in mind when you look at my card collection. So, okay, we have new, new. Um, so when you see this little orange button, that essentially means that, oh, are we going down? Or, no, we're going, oh, so I don't have this card. I want that card, but I don't have any of that card, which is bad. But once you see the orange button, it means you cannot get any more of that card. So four commons, three uncommons. I believe it's one mythic. Oh, uh, yeah. So this one is very good. I like this card a lot. Uh, this card is very good in mono white. Um, it looks like, yeah, uncommons. All right. Let's see if we have any rares that we bulked up on. So, yeah, see the orange? The orange means you cannot receive any more of those cards, which is kind of nice kind of so then you don't double cards um looks pretty good to me we did get a lot of new cards i wanted a second one of these guys but didn't get one of those i would say we pretty much 24.95 will get you very far in this game in my opinion we do need to get um i mean we've got jace wherever jace oh jace is right here and he's probably our best card that we pulled today. I mean, I don't think that there's any cards. Also, foils. You don't really pull foils, so the ratio is a little different. So as you can see, Jace, like, he fills up little orange at one. And for a rare, you fill up at two. So it's very interesting to languish. I think I have two languishes. I would be very excited about my two languish. Yes, languish is very good. Oh, I didn't get Liliana. Damn it. Okay, I would much rather have Liliana than Jace, to be honest, because she is a princess. But I've got cards. Oh, I didn't get the Abbot I needed, so maybe you need to spend $40? <laughs> Who knows? Like, how much money you had to spend? Ooh, Chandra. So I got two Planeswalkers for twenty four ninety five of fake cards, which is not terrible, but it's also not great. Uh, looks like... Oh, we didn't get the, we didn't get the uh, elf lord, which is not good. Survival. I mean, we got Nissa, and you definitely want to play her because she's one of the strongest cards in this format. But oh, how many elves? Like, we gotta figure out how many of that elf we got. We got two, which is not great. But you see how like we got. This one filled up. I mean, we could go Jace, green, blue. So I don't know how... Okay, we got more from my Relic Hunters. I didn't get another Relic Hunter. I really like Relic Hunter. I think it's a good card. I think uh, depending on the equipment, obviously we spoiled most of the cards, so the equipment is not that great. But overall, I would say um, not bad. I mean, we can make a deck. That's my blue black deck. It's really bad. Don't look at it, guys. Uh, we can edit this deck a little bit. And I would probably just... 
I would probably save it for another video. This video is long enough. Bye, guys.